Welcome to my 2020 No Man's Sky Beginner Tips Guide. This is everything I wish I knew in No Man's Sky when I very first started playing the game. This is part two. All right, so you are a very new player. You don't have an economy scanner quite yet, but you do want to start finding trading posts on these planets. Now, if you notice all these lines everywhere, those actually go to trading posts on all the planets and the NPCs will fly the route all the way to the space stations and back. It's pretty neat if you want to try and follow them sometime. But let's get down to this planet. I've positioned myself over some lines and we're going to fly right down to the planet. The trading post should be right down there. Sometimes it's not right at the very end of the line, um, but it's very, very close by. So you're always able to sight find these. Let's get down through the atmosphere. Looks like it's going to be nighttime. And I do like the blue effect on the clouds. That's that's actually pretty awesome. All right, might be a little hard to sight find in this daggone horrible weather, but we're gonna try our best. Way I don't hit the ground. Oh my god. Wow, there is the ground. All right, let's see if we can do a little sight finding. Now it's gonna be very very close by. There it is right there. All right, even in this horrible weather, you're gonna be able to find these trading posts like this. That was pretty awesome. Whenever you hop onto a space station, make sure you grab all the orange and blue little glowing squares. You can get uh, navigational data as well as nanites, and they also look like this black disc here. Now I've already looted them because I'm greedy. <laughs> There's also only one single layout in No Man's Sky where you can play Russian uh, roulette back here on the nanite extractor. Um, if you find it in the back here on the back side, it will also be on the other side. So you can double your nanites. Usually you'll get over 100 if you hit both those machines. It's pretty win. All right, here we are on the other side. It looks empty, but you can still loot it. Nice. Got ourselves an extra 49 nanites. Once you start exploring the universe, you are going to run into what is known as the Traveler. What's really awesome about them is if you hook them up with 100 nanites, they will give you a grave location and you will get yourself a portal glyph. Once you have all 16 portal glyphs, you can pretty much go anywhere in the galaxy. So yeah, always keep your eyes peeled for the travelers. If you ever wanted to max out your faction standing with a specific race or you find yourself in need of a specific race item, the very best places to go is either to any freighter in that system, say I need a Viking dagger, or head down to a trading post. Every single one of these guys that land on here will have them. There we go, and say I needed Viking effigies, you can just buy a whole bunch of these, go over to the space station, trade them to the dudes after you talk to them, and you'll get a bunch of factions standing with them. Or you might even say need one of the daggers or an effigy to access the portal system in this planet. Yep, there you go. Super easy to come pick them up on any freighter or down on any trading post. When you're hopping from station to station to upgrade your backpack slots, why don't you think about stopping over here to the missions agent? You can actually stack up a whole bunch of missions of the exact same type. Just complete one of the missions and they'll all basically complete, which is totally cool. So what I like to look for a lot is kill animals, alright, for money or nanites. And I'll also do kill sentinels or I'll do scan plants or scan animals. Um, especially if the reward is for nanites uh, and money because I'm greedy so I just do that and if it's an item reward heck you know you might as well do it if you're gonna be completing them all at the same time so all you need to do is just stack a whole bunch of missions and say your highest kill creatures mission is kill 15 creatures well if you complete that mission all of the missions that are for less will all complete at the exact same time so you end up just completing everything at once. So you'll kill all the animals, kill all the sentinels, scan all the plants, scan all the minerals. Then you can go to any one of these uh, mission agents and cash it in and boy oh boy will you be mega space rich. Eventually you're gonna run across one of these abandoned buildings and they're gonna have these whispering eggs but if you ever do anything to them you're gonna get your butt kicked by a bunch of ugly looking monsters. So the best way to combat that is to just dig yourself a sloping hole, get yourself underground. Now you are going to have to change your camera angle because you're not going to be able to do this in third person uh, down here. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So we're going to get changed out to first person and now you can actually shoot those whispering eggs. They'll roll down the hill 
the other dudes will spawn and the most they'll do is come look at you and threaten you. And you're safe to just be down here and... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You're safe to be down here and just hook these up all day long as much as you want. These eggs will refresh as long as you leave the system for a little bit or you can head over to the space anomaly and refresh it that way by portaling back if you build a portal here. So yeah, hope this helps. Eventually you're gonna get to the stage where you have a whole bunch of space cheddar to burn but you're gonna run into a position where you want a whole bunch of nanites as well and one of the very best ways to do that is to farm and scrap these Dagon ships here. Now I just happened to get done doing the little bit on the Traveler and I ran over here this dude is an S-Class ship so I'll just go ahead and buy that right up. Now that was actually a lucky find. What we're mostly looking for are A and B class ships that are nice and cheap like shuttles or anything that's cheap. We don't want anything that's like a hauler because they're kind of expensive. Now you can use a method if you don't have uh, a whole bunch of ships and you're not filled up, you don't have six max ships. You can actually uh, get, and I'm going to show you here in just a second if I actually get one, I should. Alright, we're going to scrap that and we are going to lose a tiny bit of money from the purchase price, but that's totally cool. Because the main point of this is to hook up with these S-Class modules. Now that ship right there just gave me two and that's going to be pretty close to a thousand nanites. About eight, 800 and some to 900 and some nanites. We get all this stuff to sell right here and that's awesome. Now did I get one of the modules? I think it's stacked on here. So you're going to be getting storage augmentations. You can actually put those in ships, increase the value, then scrap it and make a whole bunch of money, which is awesome. Ships are starting to pile in and uh, don't buy any C classes because you don't get the storage augmentations as much, but you are definitely still going to want to buy all of the B and A classes. This one right here is an A class, I believe. Now you can't really do a whole bunch of stocking up on extra ships if you don't have these slots for it, but this is a new save. I only have one ship, so it's pretty awesome. Alright, this one over here was a B-class, correct? Alright, we're going to scarf him up as well. Now the main focus of this is basically turning uh, what money you have into nanites. That is, that is the biggest thing that we're trying to do here. And if you do it right and use the storage augmentations that you end up getting off these ships, you won't lose any money. Because you can actually just pimp one of the ships out. And I'll actually use some of my storage augmentations on the next ship and show you that. Been scrapping for about the last 15 minutes. It is now time to pimp a ride and make all of our money back. And then sell everything we have on us right now. Get a bunch of nanites and space cheddar. First things first, we need to buy this ship, and I like to pimp the rides of an A-Class just because they're worth a bit more. Make a bit more money back instead of trying to pimp a C-Class or something. Alright, so all we have to do is get up here, apply all these storage augmentations, and then I'm just going to turn around and scrap this thing again. Then we're going to sell everything. So we're going to upgrade this ship. And this is just a fabulous way to do it. Instead of forking out a bunch of money, we got a bunch of free ones from scrapping those ships. So let's apply those augmentations. Now, of course, it's going to give me the area where I got to do one at a time instead of just being able to do it. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, the more that you upgrade with each of these slots, the more the ship's going to be worth. Now, it just depends on how many of these augmentations you want to put in, but you're going to get quite a few of them. Um, I wouldn't bother upgrading the technology, Most, mostly just stick to the general slots and it's going to make me leave. I'll have to come back and upgrade the general a little bit more. Alright, let's get back in there. Apply augmentation. And I really want to make this ship worth as much as possible. We are going to lose a little bit on the trade-in value when you, do, when you do go to scrap it, but it's really not a big deal. Not when we only forked out a little teeny bit for this thing. Alright, I'll do a few more if I don't run out and we'll just call it good. I want this whole tips video to be a daggone about this. Alright, last one. Alright, let's uh, get this thing scrapped up and we're going to make a bunch of money. If it doesn't show me the correct value, 
Let's see, it's showing me cr uh, claim scrap of 28,350 and I paid a million for it. That most definitely made back all the money that I did uh, buying and selling these ships. So yeah, it's saying a displayed value of 40,500, that's not too shabby. Not bad for a bunch of free storage augmentations from scrap and ships, just trying to make nanites. So we're gonna get our money back there and we are gonna head over and scrap these puppies. All right, buy my stuff, my man, buy my stuff. All you have to do is switch to the sell tab and you can sell all of those modules you got from scrap and ships. Or you can put them on your ships if you want. It's totally up to you. And we made over 10K nanites in about 15 minutes of scrapping, which isn't too shabby. Um, if you want to make even more than that, all you have to do is head to a double guaranteed exotic spawn and you'll be rolling in the nanites. This concludes part two of my 2020 No Man's Sky beginner tips guide. This is everything I wish I knew when I started playing No Man's Sky back in the day. Make sure you join me for part three. That's going to be coming out tomorrow. If you enjoyed what you saw, please go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell to stay in touch with everything I do. Thank you very much, Patreons and YouTube supporters. I very much love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.